At Occupy movements across the country, police action has drawn criticism. Earlier this week, protesters converged to shut down ports along the West Coast. One of those at a Washington state port was Reverend John Helmier, founder of the Valley and Mountain Church in Seattle. He joined hundreds at Port 18 on Monday in support of truckers. Afterwards, he made public a detailed account of being arrested and beaten by police officers. John Helmier joins us now from Seattle. Welcome to FSRN. Hi, thank you for having me on the program today. In your account, you describe a scene at Port 18 in Seattle where you were caught among protesters and the police, and you were saying, keep the peace to officers there. Describe what happened next. Uh, I was saying that uh, both to the to the occupiers um, to try to encourage them. It was a, it was a really scary situation, Dorian, and um, uh, the officers were thrusting their bikes into us and reaching across and shoving us backwards. Um, there was a lot of rage in some of the faces that I was seeing. Uh, so I, w- I was trying to also um, be a voice of peace to, to my fellow occupiers um, and, and to the police. Uh, although I, I did directly address um, some of the officers who were standing right in front of us shoving, uh, one of whom um, shoved me with an open hand right in the throat. Uh, and I, and I I looked into his eyes and I said, think about what you're doing. Why are you causing violence to peaceful people? Think about your humanity. So they were advancing. This was happening. Uh, Chaos was ensuing. Um, My arms were linked with people on my right and my left. Um, I was grabbed from behind um, by the back of my collar and um, thrown to the ground. Um, A knee was pressed against my spine and an officer started punching me in the face uh, with the right side of my face against the asphalt um, and the left side of my face um, uh, available. Uh, he, he started punching me uh, a number of times, enough times that I had the chance to pray while he was doing it that I wouldn't get brain damage from the crunching sounds I was hearing. And at that point, did you, did you protest and, and did you uh, try to speak with the person who was assaulting you? Well, I, I was screaming um, and shouting, I'm a man of peace, um, and, uh, and I'm not resisting, and finally it stopped. What happened after your arrest? Where were you taken? Um, first, I was put into a police van and caged in there alone for, for a while. Uh, that was one of the scariest experiences of the, of the time. I, I just was singing this little light of mine um, to, to stop myself from delving into despair. Um, eventually, uh, they put some more protesters in the van and they drove us to a holding facility. Um, and, uh, the holding facility was, was a pretty, um, pretty awful place. Uh, put us into small rooms with no benches, um, with our hands cuffed behind our back and left us there for several hours. No facilities, no water. And during that time after this beating you're describing, were you given uh, medical attention? Um, no, I wasn't. I, I repeatedly asked if I could see a nurse once I got to the jail. Um, and uh, mostly my requests were, were ignored. No one even responded. Um, pain in my face was too great. It, it would start pulsating if I lied down. So I pleaded with the nurse to give me an ice pack or an ibuprofen. So she gave me an ice pack. FSRN did call the Seattle police to ask about your specific case and the incident. They did not return our request for comment by the time we're going to air. But in a statement, the Seattle police said protesters blocked traffic and were given multiple orders to disperse before they moved in. Then some protesters, according to the department, threw flares, bags of bricks and paint rebar at the police. Police department uh, also says at least five officers were injured. Is that an accurate picture of what you experienced? It's definitely not what I experienced. Um, I can only say what happened from my my perspective. Uh, from where I was, uh, I mean, our arms were linked, and and which is it renders us incapable of of harming anyone. It simply, is that we are standing standing still. John Helmier, your title there at the Valley and Mountain Church in Seattle is Minister of Listening. You have also called for transformation in these protests and this movement. Your, your thoughts as this Occupy movement there in Seattle and across the country continues. Um, I'd just like to add, uh, 
uh, a quote from Elizabeth Cady Stanton, who's a uh, early women's suffragist, that has really gave, given me courage. And it's um, she she once said that the moment we stop speaking the truth that is within us, the floods of divine light and life stop flowing into our souls. Um, so right now I, I feel pretty beat up physically, but I feel that there is light and life in my soul. And I encourage all those who are wondering if they should take a stand to do that and experience what that's like. John Helmier is a minister and founder of the Valley and Mountain Church in Seattle, Washington. He joined the action to shut down West Coast ports this week. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much, Dorian.